Today we're going to learn about racial word problem. Let's say we have a problem, like Dan and Joe started plucking apples from tree A and tree B, respectively, at the same time. If Dan plucked 14 apples per minute and Joe plucked 7 apples per minute, there will be 20 apples left on tree A when all the apples were plucked from tree B. However, if Joe plucked 14 apples per minute and Dan plucked 7 apples per minute, there will be 230 apples on tree A by the time all the apples were plucked from tree B. How many apples were there on both trees altogether? Now the problem states that Dan plucked 14 apples per minute and Joe plucked 7 apples per minute. So the ratio of Dan plucked to Joe plucked, D for Dan, P for D for Dan, P for plucked, to Joe plucked, J for Joe, P for plucked, is equal to 14 to 2. 14 to 7. Now this ratio can be reduced to the ratio of 2 to 1. So this means that when Joe plucks one unit of apples, Dan plucks two units of apples. Let's draw this out. So we know that Joe plucked on tree B and Dan plucked on tree A. So on tree B, where Joe plucked, he plucked one unit of apples. And Dan, who plucked on tree A, plucked two units of apples. Now, we know that there would be 20 apples left on tree A when all the apples were plucked from tree B. So, this one unit are all the apples plucked from tree B. So this means that the number of apples on tree A is equal to these two units plus an extra 20 apples that weren't plucked yet. Now, in this problem, we're also given another scenario. First, let's label this as scenario 1. Scenario So, in this problem, we're given another scenario, scenario 2. So, in scenario 2, Joe plucks 14 apples per minute and Dan plucks 7 apples per minute. So, Joe plucked, J for Joe, P for plucked. the ratio of Dan plucked, D for Dan, P for plucked, is equal to 14 to 7. So, this means that we, we can reduce this ratio of 14 to 7. We can reduce it to 2 to 1. So this means that for every one box of apples that Dan plucks, Joe plucks two boxes of apples. So, this means that Joe plucked two apples of boxes from tree B. And Dan plucked one box of apple from tree A. So, we also know from this problem that there will be 230 apples on tree A by the time all apples were plucked from tree B. So this means that the remaining amount of apples is equal to 230.
So this means that there are a remaining number of apples of 230. Let's write this in red. So, we can see that 230, 230 is equal to 1, 2, 3 boxes. plus an extra 20 apples. Let's get the boxes on one side and the apples on the other side. To do this, we have to subtract 20 from both sides of this equation. This way, we get rid of 20 from this side of the equation. So we get 230 minus 20 is equal to 210, which is equal to 3 units minus nothing, which is 3 units, Three boxes minus nothing, nothing, which is three boxes, and plus twenty minus twenty cancels out. So we get three units is equal to two hundred ten. Let's rewrite this. Three units is equal to two hundred ten. Three boxes is equal to two hundred ten. So this means that one box. is equal to 210 divided by 3. This is equal to 70. So this means that one box is equal to 70. Now, so one box is equal to 70. Now, we need to find out how many apples were there on both trees altogether. Let's first count the number of boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So six boxes of apples is equal to, six boxes of apples is equal to the number of apples in one box, which is 70, times the number of boxes, which is six. This is equal to 420 apples. So this means that the total number of apples, total number of apples, T for total, number sign for number sign, A for apple, is equal to 420 plus these extra 20 apples. This is equal to 440 apples. So this means that there were 440 apples all together on tree A and tree B. 440 apples. Today we learned about ratio word problem. Thank you for watching this video.